Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This week we're going to take a look at adding some AI to our little application that we've been building over the past couple of weeks. If you haven't been following it, what we've been doing is we've been creating a PO tracking uh, power app for finance and operations, right? So we so we did a, we created an any we created the base app. Last week we did some add, edit, delete functionality. And this week what we're going to do is we're going to add some AI, artificial intelligence to it, to process some forms for us. So when the uh, shipper sends us a, a status of where the uh, shipment's at, we can process straight into uh, Common Data Service and upload automatically so we don't have to add any records manually. Okay? So um, let's go ahead and get started. We'll go into uh, make.powerapps.com. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into AI Builder and I'm going to go into the build section here. And what we're going to do is we're going to do form processing. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the form processing here. And let's call this model uh, purchase order tracking. Okay. And so what we're going to use this model, what we're going to need is we're going to upload a couple of documents that I've created. And they're very simple um, documents. And these would represent, you know, if you're doing invoices, it would be the invoice. This is just some kind of tracking documents here um, that I'm uploading. Uh, you'll see more of them here in a minute. But we just need some sample data to be able to train the, the uh, machine learning how to read the document. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick five documents here. So I'm going to click on Add Documents. And I'm going to upload for my local storage. And here are my documents. I'm going to use those five. And I'm going to be using PDFs here. I'm going to upload those five documents. All right, and those are done. I'm going to hit close. And so now the next thing what we're going to do is we're going to identify the fields on the documents that we want to grab. Okay, so we'll click on this first one here. Um, and Actually, sorry, I misspoke. What we're going to do is we hit the analyze first, let it analyze the documents, and then what we're going to do next is then we're going to go in and train train the uh, train the system. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to select on uh, the no fields selected. I'm going to go ahead and close this dialog box here, and it's going to kind of give us the first one here that it came across. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to label each of these fields for us. So what we're doing here is identifying the labeling or identifying the different fields that are on our documents right here. So if you can tell it's a very, very simple document, really you can put on there whatever you want, uh, whatever type of document you want. It, it would be more complex, but these are just some that I made up. So let's go ahead and identify the different fields. So this first one here is our PO number. So I'm just going to call this one PO num. And then our second one here is our message. Just going to make sure I have all that highlighted. We'll call it message. And this one here is going to be latitude. And this one's going to be longitude. All right, and then we'll go ahead and hit confirm the fields that we want. And then what we need to do is we need to go through each of our other five documents and tell, you know, show it which fields are match up with the ones we just created. So let's go do that next. I'm going to speed this up here so you don't have to sit here and watch it. But um, what we're going to do is we'll go through each of the next documents and just identify the fields. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click done. And we're ready to go. So we're going to go next. And now what we're going to do is we're going to train the model. So I'm going to hit train here. And what it's going to do, it'll flip us back to the uh, the model screen here as it's training. And we'll see it have been under the status of training. So what we're going to do before we do anything else, we just want to let that training complete. So as you can see right here, it's still at a, at a training status. We're just going to wait for that training to complete, and then we'll, we'll go to the next step. Okay, so now that our app has been trained, notice here the status is trained. What we need to do is we need to publish this before we can use it. Okay, so don't forget to do this or it's not going to show up when you try and use it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Purchase Order Tracking, and then I'm just going to go ahead and click on the Publish. And we can do a quick test here if we want to. If, if we want to click on the Quick Test, I'm going to drag a document in here, one of my documents that I've created, and let's just make sure, make sure it identifies the fields here. So it's just a quick way to test and see if your model is going to work.
Okay, so as you can tell, it's identified the different fields here for the um, uh, for the document. Okay, so let's go ahead and close that. All right, so the next thing we've done, what we've done so far is we've created our model that we can use to help identify the different fields on the documents that, that could be sent to us. Okay, so the next thing what we're going to do is we're going to create a flow that when, it, when one of those documents is uploaded to uh, OneDrive, what it's going to do is it's going to read the document, interpret the document, and then it's going to uh, enter that information into the Common Data Service RPO tracking entity that we created in the very first video. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the PO tracking entity real quick. So if I go to entities and I go down to uh, purchase order tracking, and we'll see that I've cleared the data out of it, so there's no data in there right at the at the moment. Okay, so we're going to have our um, have our uh, AI Builder and our flow enter the data here for us. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and go into flows, and we're going to create a new flow. So we'll go new. And I'm just going to do an instant from blank. It's going to start out with a blank one. And we'll call this one uh, purchase order tracking. And I'm going to choose how to trigger it here in just a minute. So I'm going to skip this step for a second. And what we're going to do is we're going to trigger it off of OneDrive. So up here in the search, I'm going to type in one. Drive, there we go, OneDrive for business. And then when a file is created in the OneDrive. And what I've done is I've created a, a folder here called AI Builder that I'm gonna put everything into, all right? And let's see if there's anything, uh, I'm not gonna mess with any of the advanced options, so we, that's all we need there. All right, so the next step is where we're gonna apply the AI model. So we're gonna go to the AI Builder and the model, the action we want to use is the predict action, okay? And what we're going to do here is we're going to select the model that we created earlier, which is our purchase order tracking. And then it's going to ask us the document type. So the document type I'm going to use is an application PDF. So I just need to type that in there, application, for slash PDF. And then the document, what we want to use is the uh, file content from the above step, right? So when the file is created, it's going to give us the file content. Okay? So let's go ahead and just save that just to make sure that we can, um, everything saves without any issues there. All right, so what we're going to do on the next step is, we, you know, we've gotten the file from, um, from OneDrive and we've processed it through our AI Builder model. The next thing what we're going to do is going to write it out to the common data service. Okay, so let's do that next. So we're going to do new step, and we're going to select common data service, and we're going to do create a new record. All right, so the entity name that we're going to use is going to be purchase order tracking. So let's go scroll all the way down here. Maybe went too far there. Find purchase order trackings. That one right there. And so this is the required field. So we want to put the PO number value. So this is coming, these entities, these uh, fields here are coming from the predict model in our AI model, okay? So there's a couple of the other fields that we want to add in there. Um, we wanted latitude and longitude. So I'm just going to type in latitude. And what you want is the value of the field. So latitude uh, value, there we go. And we want the longitude value, so we'll do the same thing. And longitude value, and we want the message value. Those are the four fields that we have in our file. Message value, okay. So it's going to basically create our, um, our common data service entry using these values here. All right. So let's go ahead and just save this. All right, so it's saved now. And we'll back back out of this. So what we're gonna do next is, on our OneDrive, what we're gonna do is we're just going to drop a file in here. So let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and drop our, our shipping document one in here. And we'll see that get added. Now the first time you run a Power App, it may take it a few minutes, or I've noticed actually on these file uh, it'll take a few minutes, but don't give up on it. It'll eventually come back and, and give you some data there. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to wait. I'm going to pause the video right here and, and wait for it to, to actually process, and we'll come and look at uh, what processed and the common data service entry that was created.
right, so we're back. Uh, it took a few minutes to run to see the file and everything, but it, it, it did run here. And notice it run, ran successfully. So let's go back and take a look at our entity now. So if we go back into our entities and we go to our purchase order tracking entity, we should see the data in there now for it. So if we go to data, and then there we go. So we have our PO number, there's our, our message, and then there's our Latin law. We did not set a transportation status on this one. So what I can do is I can pull up the document here just to show you the document that I uploaded, just to show, the, show you that it matches. So this is the document that I um, uploaded for the um, for the uh, this particular run. So PO number 20, at the port ready for departure, and then the lat and the longitude there for us, okay? So we'll cut it off here at this point for this week. Um, next week we'll continue on. We'll do something else on this app um, as we continue to build it out. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got some value out of it. I see a lot of potential in this AI builder. That's it's pretty neat to be able to process documents and then be able to enter them into into data, right? Um, and also know, I mean, you can process. I used a OneDrive, but there's lots of different ways to process these files. So. Uh, feel free to play around and explore, and, and, and there's just different ways of doing it, right? Okay, so again, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, give it a like. Uh, to see the next videos, be sure and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button, and you'll get notified of my, whenever I upload a new video. Okay, so until next time, thanks for watching. I'll see you later.